I'm departing, making the right hander. Looks like I'm flying over the river today, guys. Hey, it's Sunday. Well, this is, it's not Sunday, it's Wednesday in June. And, but this was Sunday and I had a, I have a fan, his name is Robert. He's like, hey, why don't you fly down the Connecticut River? And I was like, that's a great idea. So that's what we did here, guys. So we're flying down the Connecticut River. And look at the beautiful, absolutely gorgeous Connecticut River. And so I put some labels on it for you. Uh, we're passing some towns and some coves and some marinas and some harbors and all that good stuff. But this video is sped up. Uh, I'm not going this fast in real life. It's sped up 400%. We're traveling about 95 knots. So, I mean, do the math. We've got to be going like at least 400 miles an hour here. So maybe this is what it's like to fly. This is what Tom Cruise saw when he's flying his, uh, you know, his, what is it, F-14 Tomcat, F-18 Hornet, something like that. And so just, just, I'm just going to let it soak in and look at the beauty that this world has to offer. I mean, guys, this is, this is such a great idea. And I'm looking forward to hearing some more ideas from uh, my viewers. Uh, where, where should I go? What, what part of Connecticut is, is beautiful like this? I, I, I got to check it out. So we're passing Cromwell here. Uh, and I put some population of the people here. And I know this area. I bought my golf clubs from this area in Portland from Chris Cody's. I remember this bridge here, and it looks like the railroad is like it's closed right there. Uh, so we're past the Middletown here, and, and I just need to acknowledge Aaron Pelletier, uh, the Connecticut State Trooper that was killed by a drunk driver uh, last week. So I, I'm going to do a moment of silence for Aaron today because I saw a lot of state troopers pass me on the way home. So it's, this is for Aaron. Okay, so we're back on the Connecticut River. I'm passing the uh, Middletown power plant on my right-hand side, and I'm coming around here on the right-hander. I wanted to keep an, a little bit of distance there from the uh, power plant because I don't want anybody freaking out that I'm too close to it. This was a nice Sunday morning. I departed around 8 o'clock uh, Hartford time, and I just took my time, and I basically had the whole river up there to myself. I had one guy coming in for a landing uh, coming up here at Good Speed Airport uh, in East uh, East Haddam, and that was that was pretty much it. So we got boats on the river already this early. I'm not the only one that's up and about here. And uh, yeah, I mean this is this is really gorgeous here. I got a boat here, I think, on the right hand side. That I'm racing him. There's Haddam. Look at his little boat there. That's kind of cool. I wonder how fast he's going. I wonder if he even saw me. And then we have another little river coming here to our left, that's Salmon River. It's really nice to be able to see this. And we're coming up to good speed here, one of my most favorite short field airports. And uh, they have a seaplane base there. I'm going to leave up a uh, little card here so you guys can check out my good speed. Um, I think it's somewhere up over there. I did a, short, a three short field landing in good speed in April, so check that out. I'm sure you'll like it. A lot of less, less leaves on the trees then. Chester Boat Basin, Chester, Connecticut, Gillette Castle on our left-hand side, and we're coming up to Essex. And I remember when I was young, I don't know if they still do it or not, but I used to have an Essex steam train. And uh, that, was a, that was a fun little thing coming up here. This is so, so, this is so much fun. And, and I'm glad my, my viewer, Robert, suggested I do it. And, and I was about 2,000 feet. Uh, I wanted to give myself enough uh, altitude. I didn't want to get too low. I didn't want to have any sorts of... Uh, I want to keep my options open, let's say. So. Here's Essex. And we're getting, getting close toward the end here. Or the, uh, the, end, the end of this video, but not the end of this trip. We have some more stuff going on after this trip. Coming up to uh, 95, I-95, Old Saybrook. What's up, Old Saybrook? There's a lot of marinas down there. So that's the Connecticut River, guys, and I, I hope you enjoyed it. And please, um, 
give me a comment. Let me know where else I should be going and, and to, to see these beautiful parts of Connecticut. Maybe Massachusetts and maybe I go into New York. We'll see. So I'm making the left-hander right here and I'm heading east. And uh, if you stick around, I'm working on it now. It's not ready yet, but I'm going to hold my hand up and pretend I'm holding a thumbnail. Um, check out this video when it's there. I'm going to grind. And I got to tell you, that was one of my best uh, approaches all year. Grind, Connecticut. I was sparking the deck.